All right, welcome everyone to another edition of From Around the World Fridays. I'm Kyle Rasmussen, and right now we're looking at uh, the world map here. And uh, this episode is going to be part one of Morocco. Um, I'm thinking it's going to be a three-part series uh, just because there's so much that went on when I was there. So um, there's, a, there's a lot to share. But uh, where is Morocco? So if you look uh, towards, so you can see the Atlantic Ocean right in the middle, and you look to the right, you'll see uh, Morocco is at the northwest tip of Africa there. Um, it looks, it's in the, the brown spot there, uh, right below Europe and Portugal. Um, so that's where Morocco is, and we're zooming in here. Uh, you can see that uh, as we zoom in here, it's right below Europe. It's uh, right below the Strait of Gibraltar, which you can take a ferry across uh, to get from one continent to the other, which is kind of cool. And then zooming in here some more. Uh, we're going to focus on the first part of the trip that I was on, uh, which started in Tangier, which is at the very top there of the country. If you look right below Gibraltar and then a little bit to the left, that's where it is. So uh, Tangier is where I started the trip, and we're going to focus on that. We'll, we'll talk about uh, Chef Shaoan as well, and then uh, we'll probably save the rest for another episode. All right, so here's a video of me about to land on the African continent for the first time. Oh, I was so excited for this. I couldn't wait. Um, my sixth continent uh, complete. So this is some pictures of the El Menza Hotel, which is the hotel we stayed at in Tangier. Beautiful, fancy hotel. Uh, really nice place. And here we got some... Casablanca beer, uh, which is local to Morocco. It was uh, quite good <laughs> and refreshing after the flight. Okay, now there's some pictures of us walking around. We took a tour of the Medina of Tangier, which is the old city, and it was beautiful. The architecture is amazing. It's a perfect evening to be walking out there, and it was our first, first real taste of Morocco. So now we're at the edge of the Medina, right on uh, above the water there, and looking out at the Mediterranean Sea, the Strait of Gibraltar, and apparently on a clear day you can see all the way to Europe, but uh, not today. It was golden hour though, so we got to see the sunset, and we walked a little bit further, and uh, walked by where Mick Jagger apparently used to hang out, this cafe that he, he used to hang out at, and yeah, it was, just, it was beautiful. These next few pictures are of a Riyadh that we went into, which a Riyadh is basically like a guest house, but just beautiful architecture and lighting in there. So this is a picture of the hotel early in the morning. Uh, I got up before the sunrise and was going to the gym to do a workout, but the gym was closed. So I did a workout by the pool, and then I did a quick little run around the city with the, the cannons there, the cafe. Uh, that cafe is where uh, a lot of spy meetings used to take place, which was kind of cool. And then you got the French embassy as well. And now this is my view from breakfast. I uh, got a nice sunrise at breakfast, which was uh, beautiful. All right, so now we're heading down to Chef Shawin, the Blue City. If you look on the map here, Tangier's at the top, and then if you go southeast a little ways, you'll see Chef Shawin. Uh, they're kind of in the middle of the green there. Uh, beautiful city up in the uh, the mountains there. Uh, I believe it's the, the Reef Mountains that run across there. Um, and yeah, these are pictures of, of the city. It's known for uh for the being blue uh, so we learned that each city uh, has a, a different color essentially associated with it uh, shafshawan is the blue city and we found out that they paint uh they repaint the walls in the medina 
uh, twice a year, which is crazy <laughs> because it's pretty big and there's a lot of buildings and they got to go through a ton of paint. But enjoy these uh, these beautiful pictures from around the city. Uh, we did a great walking tour and just saw a lot of pretty things. So enjoy. Okay, so now the lunch that we had in Shefshawen. So this first picture here is of like the appetizers that we had. Honestly, they were kind of all over the map and it's kind of hard to describe all of them. Uh, some were sweet, some were salty, some were savory. I don't know. It was, uh, they were all good from what I had. But then the big one was this next picture. That was the camel burger. Um, so yes, that is a camel burger that I had for lunch and it was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. Uh, if you've ever had elk meat, I would say that is what it was similar to. Um, kind of a, a lean meat, a little bit gamey, but I really enjoyed it and I devoured the whole thing. These next few pictures are of a pit stop that we took just outside of Fez where uh, the government made this man-made reservoir essentially to uh, supply water to the surrounding areas uh, near Fez and Meknes, I believe is the other town. So next week we'll be heading to Fez, Morocco, and I'll describe all the amazing things that we did there. There was a ton that was packed into Fez. So this is just, uh, this first picture here is just the start of it, but uh, stay tuned for that and I'll see you all next week.